Hello everyone, welcome to another Imagineer 3D tutorial. My name is Lawrence and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn the car that we rigged in the previous video. Welcome everyone to the second part of my tutorial series on how to rig a car in Blender 2.81. If you haven't seen the first video, I would check it out. I provided the link in the description of this video and we're going to start right where we left off. All right, today our goal is going to be when we move our main object, our main empty here on the Z axis, we want our wheels to turn in tandem with the vehicle in a realistic fashion. And how we're going to accomplish this is first we're going to add another empty into our scene. So make sure you select control objects in your outliner here so when you add it, it automatically goes in there. I'm gonna press Shift A. We're gonna add an empty and let's add a cone. All right, we're going to move this forward on the y-axis. All right, and we're going to scale it, S, Z, bring it down, S, Y, bring it in a little, G, Z, a little up, and S, X, bring it in a little. Looks like a little GPS symbol. All right, so this is going to be our directional control. All right, and what I mean by that is when this turns, on the z-axis, it's going to control the turning of the wheels themselves, okay? So, in order to do that, we're going to make our scene a little easier to deal with. So what we're going to do is we're going to press space and hit T. This is going to open up our, our, our full transform um, settings that we can edit right when we click on each object, okay? All right, the little squares here mean scale, the arrows mean move, and these circles mean rotate, okay? All right, so now that we have this selected, that's all we have to do for now is leave it here. So we're gonna select the empty for our corresponding wheel, and we're gonna add a constraint. So if you wanna head over here into your settings and this little icon, this little blue icon here, we're gonna add an object constraint. And what we're gonna add is a copy rotation. All right, what this is going to do is it's going to copy the rotation value of whatever object we set as the target. So our target object is going to be this arrow right here. So when it turns on the z-axis, so does the wheel. All right, first we're gonna name this. We're gonna name this um, directional empty. There we go. All right, we're gonna go back to here. We're gonna select our directional empty as our target. All right, and we only want it to copy the rotation of the z-axis. So we're gonna uncheck these two. And where it says mix here, now this is important, we're going to select add instead of replace, okay? All right, so now when we turn our main arrow here, it's gonna turn the car wheel as well, okay? And now you kind of notice that if you turn it all the way around, the whole wheel turns around like that as well. Don't worry about that, I'm gonna show you how to fix it in just a moment. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select each of these and add the same constraint. So we're gonna to go to add object constraint on the empty, copy rotation, select our directional empty as the target, uncheck X and Y, and we're gonna change replace to add. All right, let's do the rest for these. Okay, change replace to add. Add object constraint. Directional empty and replace to add. Okay, good. So just to check that it all worked, if we select our empty here and we turn, we can see that all of our wheels are turning in tandem with this directional icon. Okay? All right. Now, what we need to do next is we need to have these wheels not turn all the way around because that's not very realistic. And when you get to moving this car on, let's say, a path or anything like that, it's going to go in the most extreme value just to make the animation work, and that's not exactly what we want. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to click on our directional empty, we're going to select an add object constraint again, and this time we're going to add what's known as a limit rotation, okay? And what this is going to do, it's going to limit the the rotation of the object that we're turning. So it won't be able to turn outside uh, its determined values, okay? So we're gonna select the Z that we wanna limit because we're limiting the Z axis. We're gonna type in negative 35 for the minimum value 
in, um, in degrees, and in max, we're going to add positive 35, so it's nice and equal. Okay, and that's all we have to add. Now, when we turn this, it stops at a certain degree value so that our wheels won't turn unrealistically. Okay, now you can play with this number and whatever works best for you or whatever animation you're making. I find this works best for me. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to parent this with our main empty object of our car so that when we move this our directional empty comes with it and it's not just lagging behind as you can see it does here okay so we're going to select our directional empty first select our car empty next by holding shift control p object all right so now when we move this forward and backward it comes with us and when we turn it you'll notice that the wheels now turn with the car itself. Okay, all right? And that is how you add rotation to the wheels of the object, all right? Okay, stay tuned for the next video in the series. If you enjoyed this one, please consider liking and subscribing uh, as I'll be adding more tutorials incrementally. All right, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Also, feel free to check out my Instagram page at ImagineNerd3D, where I also post tips, tricks, and eventually giveaways. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time.